After an improbable victory at Behar, the Texian rebels did their best to defend the Alamo against the overwhelming forces of Santa Ana. They fought valiantly but lost. When soldiers in General Houston's command learned about the massacre at the Alamo, they were hot for revenge. Houston surely felt the same way. But when he deliberated, many of his own soldiers accused him of being a coward. They said, what are we waiting for? Of course, there could be no real doubt about Houston's character or the fact that he still held the same goals of freedom and independence. Indeed, it speaks most highly to his virtues that he could see through the fog of anger. He could see that this was not the time or the place for attack. To charge into the teeth of an emboldened Santa Ana would have spelled near certain doom. Courage is not to be confused with recklessness. Houston initiated a strategic... Houston initiated a strategic withdrawal and regroup, recruiting supporters from across the state. He knew that Santa Ana's arrogance and greed would cloud his judgment and eventually throw him off balance. And when the time was right, victory was his at the Battle of San Jacinto. When it comes to our fight for health, safety, and democracy, we have not yet had our San Jacinto. But if we can navigate this perilous juncture wisely, and if we can foster alliances across Texas, victory can be ours. I do not envy your position, and I do not know what wisdom demands in this situation. But I do know that I don't want to give them a legal ruling to legitimate HB 40, which is still nothing but the rotten fruit of political corruption. We must not let them use our ban to christen this unholy thing. Now, if you really believe one of the options on the agenda tonight will avoid this fate and moot the lawsuits, then go for it. But if not, then it seems to me that repeal would be the better part of wisdom. No matter how this plays out, there can be no mistake that HB 40 has sown the seeds of its own demise. For as we speak tonight, we hear the voices of the people rising. We can see their eyes are open now. I sense a great fear in the desperate ruthlessness with which the opposition is conducting its business, and I think they're right to be afraid. In the end, victory will be ours as long as we are attuned to the abiding power within us, the power of community and citizenship, the power of your own innermost voice. Four years of working on this issue, and I have learned there is a power far greater than the authority conferred by institutions. Thank you.